Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to talk about a new product from TechMotion. This is a product that can help you if you need to run a Ford TFI distributor, but you're having clearance problems around the distributor. Now TechMotion has offered a part for years, which allows you to put a small diameter cap on the TFI distributor. This is great for solving clearance problems with uh, aftermarket fuel lines and so on. Anything where just the diameter of the cap is the issue, but it does nothing for the height of the distributor assembly. But today I'm going to show you our newest part, which allows you to mount this low profile, even smaller diameter crab type distributor cap on your TFI distributor. So this could dramatically reduce the height of the installed assembly, giving you clearance for manifolds that overhang or other things that are around there. And it further reduces the diameter of the assembly at the top. This part could really be the answer if you've got a bunch of clearance problems. This distributor cap is a readily available component from MSD. It's part 8541. It places the terminals around the edge of the cap so that instead of the terminal sticking way up, they stick out to the side. The coil goes in the center here at the front and it's even smaller diameter than the other MSD cap that we normally install on one of these TFI distributors. The part we're going to use is this new TechMotion distributor adapter for the crab style cap. I'm going to show you how to install this today. We're going to see the car run and I'm going to give you some measurements so you can determine whether it might be useful for your particular situation. It's a really simple install. You don't have to disturb the distributor position, so you don't have to reset the timing afterwards. Let's go ahead and do the install and we'll get the car running, show you how it works. The best way to start is to transfer the spark plug wires from the old TFI cap to the new crab cap. This terminal, the one at the back on the left, is terminal number one. In most cases, your TFI distributor cap will be numbered. Otherwise, just follow the wire for your number one. This is, this is wire number one. Let's pull that off. We'll plug that on. And then we'll just go around the cap in order here, switching them over. Um, I'm going to take the coil wire and just move it out of the way for now. The coil wire is this one at the front. It's very obvious. Then just kind of set the uh, wires and cap aside. All right, pull the, uh, pull the TFI cap off of the car and you can just move it out of the way. And you can pull the rotor off and move it out of the way. Sometimes they're stuck on there a little bit. Once you got that done, we want to take this factory lower adapter off of the distributor. It's just two Phillips screws. Use a Phillips screwdriver in here and take them out. And what I usually do is kind of lift up on it as I'm taking it out to keep those screws with the adapter so you don't drop them in the distributor. See that one's released. That one's released. We'll just move that out of the way. The next step is to place your TechMotion distributor adapter on the distributor body. Now you'll notice one end of this is square, one end of this is rounded. There's corresponding square and round tabs. You can't put this on the wrong way. And there is a uh, alignment tab built into the part here for the crab cap. So you can't put the crab cap on the wrong way <laughs> unless you're really trying hard. Okay, so I'm going to put that in place. Kind of line it up. Then we'll use the two supplied metric cap screws to install it to the distributor base. This should be a M4 hex key. Now you only need to snug this. It's a plastic part. You don't have to go crazy on it. Just snug those fasteners. All right, that's on there. Looks good. Take your new rotor, 
standard motor products FD 308T and install that on the distributor. We slip the rotor on there. Let's take our crab cap and position it. Now, if your wires are giving you grief when you put them on, you can take one or two off here just to get them out of the way. Now you'll see there's an alignment notch in the crab cap that goes to the alignment tab and it's going to fit fairly tightly. Okay, like that. The crab cap comes with two number eight machine screws. They'll thread right into the tech motion adapter and hold it in place and tighten them down with your Phillips screwdriver. Now again, you only need to snug this, you don't need to go nuts. Check that everything's secure, looks like it is. We'll put our coil wire on. And there is our new low profile, small diameter crab cap installed. Okay, let's get a, try and get a measure of how tall this really is. The factory setup was about 215. This looks like it's about 177. About 177 millimeters. That's a lot tighter. And of course, this cap is extra small diameter as well. So you can see that our distance from the front of the factory manifold to the back of the cap here is about 36 millimeters. So we've created quite a bit of space in here as well. Fires right up. <laughs> Look at that. So there you go. Five liter Ford crab style distributor cap. Low profile, small diameter, running. That's all it takes to put this low profile, small diameter crab cap on your Ford TFI distributor. It's about an inch and a half shorter at the top and about an inch and three eighths smaller diameter around the fat part of the cap. If that much extra clearance is all you need to make your manifold, fuel rails, or other devices that are around the distributor fit, then this cap and adapter kit is for you.